Hello, this is Tim from Social Links. This is going to be a quick introduction to Multigo. So, to use Social Links Pro, you need the paid version of Multigo. There's free Multigo, Multigo C, and paid Multigo. Uh, we have a set of transforms called Social Links CE, which works with the free version of Multigo, but only has around like 5% of all our transforms. So, you get a small taste of what we do if you install that. Uh, but to get the full experience, uh, yeah, you need the paid version of Multigo and a Social Links license. And lastly, how to install Social Links. Um, so obviously, if you just bought Multigo, you've activated Multigo. For those who don't know how to activate Multigo, you go to the License Manager and just put your key in. For social Links. Obviously, here's the Update Transforms button. I'd run it every week or so. Because uh, obviously we update our transforms. Uh, if there's any other data providers you have for Multigo, uh, you need to update your transforms regularly or you're missing out on capability. The Social Links Pro, you install it and you go into Details, Settings, API key, double click, copy and paste your key in, close, and there it should be in. Um, if you install third party services, for example, go into Transforms. Transform managers, for example, uh, people that can be integrated into social links, just type in people. Select them all. And then where it says people.com API key, just copy and paste the key in. Obviously, that works with any of the other third party services, uh, BitQuery, HuesXML, etc. So here's just an investigation I already have opened from a previous video that is on this channel. Um, so here are the most important things in Multigo. So on the left, we have the entity palette. An entity is just a one dot on the graph. See this one LinkedIn post is one entity. This Facebook account is one entity. And entities, from certain entities, you can run certain transforms. A transform is just basically a search. So obviously from a Facebook entity, you can run Facebook specific uh, transforms, whilst well, from LinkedIn ones, you'll only get LinkedIn searches. Um, to start off an investigation, you choose the entity you need. So for this investigation, I already started off with the LinkedIn search person. Drag it onto the graph, double click it, put the information you need in. Alternatively, you can copy and paste URLs into the graph. And from there, you get a range of transforms so you can start your investigation. So that's entities and transforms. Um, a cool tip for Multigo is uh, maybe you want to run entities, uh, searches for multiple entities. Obviously you can drag and select multiple ones at once or select them one by one whilst holding shift. Uh, but a convenient way is to go select by type. Select by type. Um, you select for one you're looking for. So for example, here we'll do LinkedIn post. Select LinkedIn post and it'll select them all at once. Then you can right click and run the transform you want to run. Um, in Multigo, obviously, all the information doesn't appear on the graph. It's just uh, too much information will look really cluttered. So for example, for LinkedIn posts, this is all that will appear on the graph. It'll just be a little photo, URL, double click. I'll give uh, more information. Uh, but we have a detail view on the right. If you click it here, it gives you uh, all the information. It's a lot more uh, easier to read uh, than in the properties tab. It gives you all the information all at once. Um, easy to look over it. Obviously, it's the, same, it's the same for LinkedIn profiles themselves. So on the graph, it will just appear the name, uh, the photo. But on the right, once again, you can have all the information in front of you on the right. Um, quite a common thing we get is people accidentally close. I have a detail view or the entity palette. And they're like, how do we get it back? Obviously, they just go to Windows and select the ones you want. For example, the entity palette is quite important. Detail view. So here's the output window, don't always need that. And then sometimes you've got a big graph, uh, maybe you're in a meeting uh, presenting your graph. This full screen, full screen button gets rid of a clutter.
Obviously the detail view can still be there if you need it. So you get what you want. Escape to get out of that. Obviously here's a key uh, the keyword search. Obviously if that disappears, you go back into investigate tab. Press quick find. There you type in the phrase you're looking for, the word, and you can search if uh, where you want it to be located in either any entity or specific entities. Make sure to click properties, otherwise it won't search for word in the properties, will just look out like this name here. Obviously you won't find anything, so you have to make sure the properties is on, the display info is on, the notes, everything. So obviously here are all the different ways you can change um, the layout of the graph. So for certain types of investigation, sometimes a circular one will be better. So you want a starting point, seeing how it branches out. So see, even from this small little graph, you can see obviously there's a clear circle around the uh, social links for extracted data from there. You see a clear circle from uh, Andre where we uh, extracted all these posts. From here, we can also change the size of the entities, the balls, how they appear in the graph. As an example, one of the most incoming links will appear bigger. Here by rank. Another important thing you must remember for Multigo is the number of results here. So you can set it to 10k. Uh, I have Multigo Classic. If you have other versions of paid Multigo, we can get even more results. The slider will be a bit different. But obviously the minimum is 12. So for example, if you're extracting Facebook posts of a user, if you select 12, it'll select the last 12 uh, that that person has made and so on from 10k. And another important one is collections. So collections here, so 25. This means if there's 25 of the same entity, so LinkedIn posts, for example, uh, they'll appear on their, uh, on their own in the graph, not in a little box. Uh, at the moment, I've pinned them on the graph. When I've pinned them, it means this collections, uh, whatever it's at, doesn't matter. Also, if they're pinned, they'll be on their own no matter what. So let's go select by type, LinkedIn post, selected all of them. Let's unpin them. See, and there you can see they've been put back into their boxes because uh, we have collection set to 25. So there's 24 of them, they'd be on their own, but since there's obviously 150, they'll be put into this box, which is good if you have lots of different entity types, each with a lot of them. Obviously the graph will get very cluttered if you don't uh, set this collections, put them into a little box. So then if you just want to select one, you want to investigate, obviously just press the pin icon, get out on its own, and then do the search you're looking for. Um, so yeah, that's the basics to Multigo. As usual, if you have any specific questions or having issues, leave us a comment. Better yet, contact us directly by email. And yeah, subscribe for more videos, webinars, 